Rock on! Uh, it's rock. Welcome, teams. It's a new week on Rock the Block, which means there's a new room to rock. The next room you guys will be rocking is the basements. The great news about this is the basements are so big, it's an opportunity for you guys to add so much value to your homes. So let's talk about this week's judge. Yes. She's a designer, a restoration specialist, and the host of HGTV's Bargain Mansions. Oh, Tamara. Tamara Day knows about big homes and adding value to those homes. She's fabulous. She knows her stuff 100%. She's got great style. She loves me, and that's all I care. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys ready for this? Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. It's time for you guys to rock those basements. Yeah. Yes, yes. I have a very, very ambitious idea I want to throw at you for down here. I think there's a way we could actually make this its own apartment. If we could create a rental unit, there's no more added value. I'm sure the other teams are gonna add a bedroom, a really fun like game room that's really cool, but nobody's adding a two bedroom fully functioning rental. Nobody. Nobody thought of that, we thought of that, and you know what it means? Winning! We know what we've done upstairs. We've got a lot of spaces that obviously we've added value to, right? Yes. Our biggest investment so far has been in the kitchen and the main suite, and we won both of those challenges. Now we just have to figure out how to get the most bang for our buck, the basement. This feels like kind of wine room hangout because this area is so big that this becomes kind of the theater area. We don't need any demo. That's the part that I love. And we're saving money. We're we still creating impact. Money. But another way we can create impact is color. Can I please have my way here? I am dying to make this entire basement blush. It's elegant. We combine that with gold. It'll be so cool. Every single challenge, we've been getting dinged on our color. Every single one. I don't care. OK. I don't care. You know why? Because we're showing how to use color correctly yes. and still creating value for our house. OK. It's just a color. So it's like when you're coming down here, you're just kind of like, what the heck could possibly be? Yeah. And then boom, you walk into the space. This is going to be a game changer. I feel like I know what other teams are going to do. They're probably going to do a movie theater, maybe a wine room, maybe Pool a bar. Table. Predictable. Every judge so far has said we've been playing it safe. Well, guess what? After you see our basement, tell me we're playing it safe because we're doing a bowling alley in our basement. Dang, that feels good. Oh. Oh, I am so excited for this space. You have no idea. I'm just excited that we got these pieces were, oh my gosh, yes. how stressful, right? Very stressful. I won't lie, I'm still a little nervous about the use of color. We have been knocked so many times for it. This time, the fourth time has got to be a charm. <gasps> I've never seen a pink ping pong table before. I have never seen a pink ping pong table before. Oh my god. I have a feeling there might be a market for a pink and gold ping pong table. Why not? Hey, come look at the doors. Look how pretty that is. I gotta go to work. See you later. Close the door, please. There's a lot going on today in the basement, and it's arguably our most aggressive design. I'm gonna go to bed. Good night. The Murphy bed with custom closets flanking it and sconces above. We've got marble countertops and an 18-inch marble backsplash. All the finishes and materials are consistent from the house above. So if you wanted to absorb the basement space and have just two additional bedrooms and an office and another game area for your kids, you could easily do that. Or you could lock the door and you have the opportunity to rent out the space and subsidize your income. We're taking a lot of risk because the basement is super ambitious, but we believe it to be worth it. It's a huge value added to a home. I got filler pieces for this. So these will go up to the ceiling. Even though we're working with a very limited budget, it's important to know where to spend the money. And to me, custom cabinets is one way to add value because of all the extra storage. This is the fifth bedroom. And we're gonna get the walk-in closet. It wouldn't have been a bedroom without it. No, it wouldn't have been. So. It would have been a bedroom slash 
office slash flex space. Speaking of flex space, in the basement, we've got this bonus room. It already has drywall, and now it just needs those finishing touches. Stop, drop, and bowl. We really put it all on the line as far as this bowling alley, so this is a game changer. If we don't win this week, I'm out of ideas. All right, you ready? Yeah. All right, today's the day. We're finally gonna be judging our basement, and while we're really confident about what we have created, there's still a lot of work to be done. We still have to make those candlesticks from the heavy metal challenge, you spray have paint those. I'm so excited about it. And of course, we've gotta finish staging. We've just gotta make sure that our basement apartment is perfect. That feels right. And the bottom line is our reputation at this point is hanging by a thread. Whew, we are so close. I mean, guys, we can scoot this back. It's a miracle that we've been able to turn the basement around in record time. The ping pong table's getting assembled. The curtains in the barn doors are going up. I think it looks really pretty down here now. I think Tamara Day is gonna love it and give us the win. Tamara's almost here. Okay. Last looks, All right. everything is perfect. We... We're super proud of what we've done, but it's up to Tamara to decide. Go Tamara, go Tamara, you know what's up. Oh my gosh. Hi. Oh my gosh, I'm already loving it. <laughs> Come on. Oh, wow. I'm speechless. We wanted to be subtle but bold at the same time. Right. Take I, it I all definitely in. think you got the bold. Right. As much of a lover as pink as I am, that's one of those things when you're going bold, which I do all the time, I think that potentially could turn off a handful of buyers. But I think it's a gorgeous finish. Oh my gosh. Yes. And it's got a view. It'd be better if the room was staged, but you still added another bedroom, which increases value. The okay. themes are great. So right. one of the most favorite things, well, to me, yeah, is we went back and forth about getting a television, but we were like, okay, A, budget, B, we wanted it to feel like a real theater. Yeah. Right. So we chair railed out this frame, painted it white, and then hung a the projector. projector. So smart and such a good use of your budget. Oh my gosh. Wow. I'm already blown away. We brought a lot of the same materials, like the marble countertops are from upstairs. Stunning. These cabinets are actually salvaged from the house. Good use of money. Um, but this used to all be open, and we put up these iron and glass doors. This is a new construction. Totally. Yeah. But you've infused charm and character. I mean, it, it's like the house has a soul. Thank you. Right? That's been our goal since day one. Down. So we you, appreciate you, you seeing that. That's the biggest it. compliment. Thank you. you go. So this is basically set up as a home office right now. But the cool thing about this space is that this is the Murphy bed, oh which comes down. These are all built in closets on both sides. I love that. We have a full bath in here. Beautiful tiles. I love the simplicity of this, but at the same time, really great finishes to go with it that just maximizes the design. Thank you. All right, so this is the second bedroom. Oh, wow. It's more of like a suite. Yeah, it works for a lot of reasons. Mm -hmm. I like that you did the, the barn doors because yeah. it saves space. Yeah. Exactly. Cheers. 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 Cheers to a Cheers. beautiful space. Yay. I guess a negative would be if I don't want a gas stove down by my children playing. If you really didn't want to have a rental space, but I do feel like this is a huge value for Thank the space. Thank you. Approaching judging today, I feel like the bowling alley is definitely not safe. We definitely took a risk on this challenge, and I think it's going to pay off. Got a strike, Tamara. Oh my gosh! This is absolutely one of the coolest things I've ever seen you in like the basement. It? Oh yeah, we. Oh my god! We don't have basements in Florida, right? So this was a challenge for us. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think you did it. Entertainment, family—that's been our whole theme throughout every space of this house. Right. So I think that we just wanted to keep yeah. it going, even in the basement. Down here, it's just about fun. Yeah. I that's love all we want. That. Speaking about fun. We got you something. 
Do I so, get to put it on? Absolutely, yes. you have to put it and on. And do I get to play? Yes. This is crazy. My boys would go insane for yeah? this. Okay. Come on, girl. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right, that was pretty good. I mean, this is seriously memorable, right? Awesome. Like, anybody walking through a house with this is not going to forget that's, which that's, house it was. That's the plan. I mean, I'd say this is a really big plus, but probably a negative to some people, too. Like, how do you appraise something like this? Come, Come see our basement. Down. Oh, I can't wait. We were able to turn this basement into a fully functioning living space, and it would fit any family that would buy this house. Oh, look at the barn doors. Yep. They're just so these, simple. I feel like it makes the opening bigger for the office. Yes. We're thinking in the basement, a flex right. space. Right. How do families live? Could this be a gym? Could this Absolutely. be an office? Right. Keep the options open, right? right. <laughs> we heard you like pink, so. I little, do like pink. I noticed pink. this immediately. Touches. But I like to bring it in the right way. Exactly. Color is so particular, and it's like right. we're trying to attract all buyers. All buyers. So now you come down again, nice neutral walls. Yes. Um, washroom. Yeah. Love the hardware. That's Isn't gorgeous. That pretty? Ooh, yeah. the tiles, good. Love this. It's bright. For a basement bathroom, this feels like it could be an upstairs bathroom. Yeah. Make it bright. So now you come into the main space. Oh, wow. It's huge. Yes. This is brilliant. The bar, you know, super streamlined. It was just about added storage for all the puzzles and the games and right. everything. And there's never enough room for that. And yet it doesn't look like it's meant to be storage. For me, basements are all about rec space. Like, this right. is where you watch movies, this is where you hang out. It's got a mood. I like how you've got this comfy sofa, big screen, ping pong table, like how you've used the space is so cool. That's what I love about Allison is she's got that little bit of flavor. Yes with a huge walk-in closet. No way. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So we spent our winnings building that out. A huge walk-in closet is a yeah. big value. Yeah. I mean, who has enough storage ever? Nobody. <laughs> Nobody, especially for a house this size. Right. Yeah. You know, the one thing I would say is like the carpet thing. I love how it feels. It's so much cozier and it makes it feel like it's upstairs. Yeah. But my husband and I are arguing about this this morning, actually, like carpet, hardwoods. Four kids, we had carpet and they trashed it. If the only negative is that we have carpet over hardwood, I'll take it. Hello, teams. Yes, it may be raining, but that is not gonna dampen the spirits here today because we're gonna decide who won the Rock the Block Challenge known as The Basement. For this week's winner of the best basement on Rock the Block, I have to go with Nate and Jeremiah. Yay! Yes! <laughs> yes! Oh, I feel great! <laughs> I feel great! Oh, it's about you know, we feel don't know great. what this feels like! I can't wait to tell our it's kids! Oh my, our kids are gonna be so excited! We keep <laughs> teaching them, it doesn't matter if you win, and now we can say it does! Oh, I feel great!